on grid and off grid or concession grid. We say, okay, fine, maybe flexible decentralized energy option. But an impression is created that it's going to be on grid, which is which cannot be evacuated because once you generate, you can't evacuate on the weak, disrupted uh, distribution infrastructure. But so I'm going to spend a lot of money. And, and that's the key. That's very strategic. If you look at the president's speech, though, he, he seems to take that into cognizance. The fact that you know equipment is old, obsolete, and, mm -hmm. and what have you. You don't think that that's the reason why he's tempered the expectations to 10,000 megawatts? Because if, as at now, we can wheel out 5,000, uh, what are the chances that we can do that with, with 10,000 over a period of three years? See, it took like 1861 to date to have 5,000 megawatts. 1861, that's when we first generated power in Nigeria and Lagos. That's, just looking, that, that's looking too far back. I mean, no, 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 I'm not when, looking when, far back. When when we, I'm just very realistic. No, no, when we look at, <laughs> seriously speaking, when we look at how you know, we jumped or how we've, we've been able to increase uh, v uh, megawatts, especially within a period when this uh, NIPPs were built yeah. and you know, gas, gas you know, fired through them, We've been able to see just you know how much we've been able to do within a short span. So you shouldn't take. Are we going to be waiting for another one hundred so, so, years? So the only the options to double what we have. I agree with the options. One, we need to do a lot of private investment to gas-fired generation. We need to do hydro, be renewable, of course, subject to the challenges of climate change. Oh. We need to do aggressively renewables. And state governments now should take up their responsibilities under the Nigerian constitution and generate power of grid to accumulate or add up to what is being generated on grid. State governments should cross list or cross license this course to generate power for to generate and distribute our uh, genkos and discos to generate and transmit uh, and distribute power for them from their states off grid they're doing a kind of mopping up now of captives and some embedded which are still not on grid and which greedily are still being regulated by the nrc contrary to what the constitution says State government now should step forward and help Mr. President. Says, okay, we can step forward and take over off-grid power generation, which the constitution says. Then do they have, have the capacity? They do. We have concession grid because each and every of the states now will now step out to attract investors in the areas of renewables, including hydro, because hydro is also renewable. Yeah. I can do hydro off-grid. I can do captive off grid, I can do solar off grid. Mm. If they can do some of these things, why do you think that is not happening? I'm sure you know I've been saying this in this studio for about at least three years. Are they doing it now? Has any Nigerian come forward to challenge me? Hey, you, what you're saying is stupid. Now, some state governors, from what we hear, I mean, if you listen to the guest we had earlier, he was yeah. talking about the Plastic State government planning to do certain things. Some of them are still in the realm. Plastic of, State government, I'm sure, will plan. go to any house and ask for license. And I'm saying they don't need license from the NRC. Rather, they should set up, set up Plateau State Electricity Regulatory Commission. And I'm challenging my governor to set up OCSEC, Ogun State Electricity Regulatory Commission, and invite investors like they're doing in housing and a lot of good jobs is doing. Hey, come and help me develop off grid. Power generation and distribution for Ogun State, Mawe Bafu, Ifo, Akuti. If they're not ready to generate power elsewhere, we can generate power without putting it through the national grid. Do you think it, would they still need the existing infrastructure to distribute those? That power is why generated? they don't need to go on grid. Lagos State this Government is, is generating power. Uh, uh, that's why it, it's a bit, it's a, it's yeah. a tough one for, for, for the minister because NRC, I'm aware, was at some point frustrating. His Excellency Minister, Minister of Power, uh, uh, Mr. Raji Fashola, when they go state generated IPP enough for the Secretariat. And they are saying, in the morning, we generate so much. In the evening, the, the Secretariats are closed down. Then we have this SS uh, megawatt idling. So what do we do? Let's sell to, 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 
to, to, to uh, those who need it. We call them, um, um, I'm short of my, the, the technical word now, uh, we call them um, obstacles. Companies, industries that need the power. When, when sectorials is shut down in the evening, guess what? NRC says, the, the uh, disco says, you can't do that because those are my customers. Say, ha hasn't that changed now? It doesn't change because Lagos State Government generate power, they use it in the morning. When the sector sectorial closes down, they can't give to homes that are in darkness. And yes, it's cycling there. And they can't give it to them, pay something for it, so that in the morning they use it, the rest they give to them. And it, what does it matter? For as long as I have power, light in my house, it doesn't, and I'm paying. See, there's a problem here. And there's a depth of knowledge as to this thing. Unfortunately, rather unfortunately, we don't have regulators in place. So do you think he is in a position now to be able to sort out some of those? It's, it's, it's much more complicated job. because mm -hmm. it, it faces a lot of challenges. Has been, and I know, I know that. No, but now, would they have any excuse? Because, I mean, they control the center now. They can appoint any RCS. Yes, okay, you do this, you do there that. Are no, now let's are, sort this out. There are no commissioners in place. And when we say of commissioners now, of course, maybe the president will appoint NRC commissioners at some point. The challenge is this. Government is no longer in the business of, we can't be divesting and reinvesting. So government cannot really seriously invest in power. There's even no budgetary allocation for that for the next three years. I said they're going to reverse it. And it's, we're going to take like the total budget of NERA for the next 15 years to put into power, which is not realistic. Then. Then we're talking of government's job now, strictly, is regulation. And when you talk of regulation on the power sector, we are talking of the law and regulatory instrument in the sector. How many of such laws and regulations are they aware of? Do they know? Sometimes they read this in upside down, saying, oh, we have power under the law to, to, to impose tariffs. Yes. Also, under the law, you have conditions, precedent to doing that. And sometimes a, law, a whole lot of contradictions, and I, I stop counting when I, I, I identify 200 problematic provisions in the Constitution, the Act itself, and the several regulatory instruments. I say this will not get us anywhere. Three so months. the law, the regulatory framework that we have cannot get us anywhere. So I, I really identify with the President. He's got a passion. He's got a vision. What going in mess, if I'm mistaken? Not that we're ending on a bad note, but just raising some points that needs to be addressed. Um, Maybe not the 200 ones that he recognized, but then we've got <laughs> the key <laughs> one. <laughs> Always a pleasure to have you on, uh, Dr. Yemi. Okay. Thank well, you. that's the show today. We thank you all for watching. And uh, oh, yeah, you can keep your recommendations coming through as well. We'll appreciate all of them. I'm Chamberlain Oso. Well, thank you. And thank you for your contributions. I'm Maokwe Ogun. Many thanks. I'm Suleiman. I'll let us see you again.